Hello, folks. Happy Halloween. This is DP. And this week, for Halloween, it's seances at six. We're gonna get noisy in here. And we're gonna go hog wild with the dead. Let's see. I hope everyone's having a... I can officially say that. We got official bird brains in here. We got our producer, Samantha. Trap a booyah if you're hanging out. A booyah, because it is Halloween. <laughs> oh my goodness. We already have an apparition appearing before us. Spooky. This is spooky as fuck. Wow. D, how are you? Happy Halloween. Look, look are you in costume? Happy. Look what I got. I got, I'm wearing the skeleton costume. <laughs> Oh, you're wearing your bones. Yeah, that's right. Because what we're doing here today is we're going to take a walk through hell, and we're gonna we're gonna do a seance, and we're gonna go to the deepest layers of hell and try to find some comedians to talk to and, and go hog wild with. Um, oh yeah, you you you, uh, you thought you were just dipping in for D and Page, uh, catching up after a week of fun bits. No, 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 no. We're getting dark this on this. Dark one. We're going to see the Prince of Dark. DP seance at <laughs> six, and D I, DP seance. I wore the skeleton <laughs> costume because I, I don't know. Have you ever been to hell before? I can't say that I have been to hell before, Paige. Have you ever been to yeah, hell? If you've ever walked through hell, you know it helps to wear a uh, a monster outfit so that so you don't look out of place. Because they see, I've never, I've never been raped in the ass by a demon. They come lava. They 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 love that ass rape down in hell. They do quite. <laughs> that's a bit. that's kind of the whole thing. Ass ass rape. It's not a little thing. That's all they do. In We've it. been trying to tell them. We've been trying to tell him consent, but you know the the devil does not want to hear about the that. The devil doesn't like it. But here's the thing: he doesn't like it. You had the the very spooky idea of doing a séance, and I love the idea. We're gonna go into hell via via magic and via dark uh, forces. Oh, of course, of course. Uh, as you know, I'm into all that uh, millennial witch stuff, uh, the, the TikTok crystals and uh, whatnot. And I was scrolling through my feed the other day, and somebody said, how to have a seance to go to hell. And then they did like yeah. a funky little bone dance, and so I watched it. So we're, uh, we're going to try it out. <laughs> yeah. And we're going to try it out. And, uh, you know, my obsession with magic and, and all this is metal and horror movies. But, you know, don't question my allegiance with the Dark Lord. I've, I've got markings on my body. I've got tattoos. But being as you are the one that knows magic, I'm going to let you take the lead here. I, I, I don't know if we, we'll need this, but I built us a little pentagram. <laughs> oh, you built us a little yeah, pentagram. I can only find birthday candles, but Halloween is <laughs> my birthday, brother. And we got the candles. We got some devil's lettuce. We're ready to go. We're ready to get, go into the deep layers of hell, baby. Who knows what kind of demons we're going to well, find? Who knows what, what comics we'll run into? Right? Well, I didn't have my pentagram marked out, but I do have my little station, my, uh, my little starship to get us going. We got a candle burning. I also have uh, the last microphone that the spirit we're going to try to conjure uh, touched before he passed oh, away. Wow. So that should be enough to get us now, there. Are we going after a specific, uh, a specific comic? Who's in hell? Who do we know for sure <laughs> would be in hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna, I was gonna try to go for George Carlin, but the demon who's been managing him in hell said that he's too too busy, uh, booked for the next ten thousand years. So <laughs> we, uh, a lot we reached out personally to. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I, uh, I I drew up a pentagram. Problem. He's a uh, he's 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 middle of the he's middle of the layers, you know. Gambling. Not that that's right. It's it's sure no genocide, that's for sure. <laughs> But no, uh, I, I was shopping around on eBay, and for three dollars and sixty-nine cents, I was able to purchase the last microphone that Mitch Hedberg touched. Oh, so is that uh, like we are going to try to contact. You can't contact someone without the last microphone. Oh, of course, you need you need the last mic if you're going to try to get in touch with a hell cop. Okay. So uh, for those of you for those of you listening, not watching, Paige has his pentagram drawn up down yeah, there. Yeah, the I have. Should I, light the candles? Do, should I go ahead and get us going? 
I'm following your. I think you should spark those bones. Cause you should uh, you should spark those bones, buddy. All right, light those candles. Bones. You're, but you're the black magic woman here. You gotta you gotta get the black magic going. Hey, I already told you we can't get Santana on this one. This might be. Uh, I might I might burn my apartment down here, but it's, <laughs> it's all a, it's all in honor of DP Sundays at six. And I know. Oh no, D. Dark forces are already interrupting. D is getting. Oh my God, D. We lost you. Drop out and come back in. Is D frozen for everybody else? Drop a booyah in the chat if D is frozen for you while I light the pentagram candles. Oh, she's back. Okay. Oh my D, God. This. This I don't know what good. happened there. I was uh, I was having some demonic interference. It looks like the spirits like. are already here. Oh my god! The, the spirits are already here. They're they're tuned in. Oh, thank you. I had to go into hell with a little bit of armor on. It'll uh, it'll keep the demons yeah. away. So here we are. We got the pentagram. <laughs> yeah, I, what, do you, what do you use here? You got tarot cards. You got the microphone. Well, you know what? Let me grab a few tarot cards to try to get us down there, you know? It's always good to have a little connection to the other side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I think uh, I think it would only be appropriate uh, we're trying to reach a dead man, Mitch Hedberg. So I think we should go with uh, death itself. So I'm just going to slip this under the camera here, baby. This is going to be... This is going to be uh, Mitch Hedberg reanimated, folks. He's going to be live back for one night only. We're going to unchain Hedberg from hell. And he's going to be here. Live for six. one night only. <laughs> <laughs> live for one night only. Mitch Hedberg is going to come back and be like, what the fuck is this? I didn't get booked on this. <laughs> I think I mean, uh, it would only be fair if we included the devil. He's been dead for, I don't know how long, 15 years? <laughs> Can you imagine how low energy he'll so you saying hell? He's gone from low energy to no energy at this point. He's, his energy is the lowest he could possibly get. He's got zero energy. We're going we're gonna to slip the devil in there for a good measure, because death and the devil seem to go together. I know. Put him right under the their devil, I was like, I will not wear the cowboy hat out of respect for the ultimate outlaw. Oh, of course. Well, the the ultimate the outlaw. The Stetson the costume, costume, but no hat. Give, give it to me straight, Paige. Do you think the uh, Do you think the cowboy hat originated from Satan himself? Did the Dark Lord give us the ten gallon? I think so. Who's a, I mean, a, the six 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 gallon. But <laughs> who, who is a bigger Who is a bigger outlaw than than the devil? I mean, uh, you have a good point. I mean, I wouldn't want to name any names, especially not you, because uh, I don't want to get you in trouble with the man downstairs. This is his birthday. That's right. And this is his birthday. I would, ne I would definitely not to, like to disrespect him on his birthday. This, this, this is Satan's good, birthday, I dude. I gotta say, I'm very impressed that you put that together. <laughs> <laughs> is that just on your coffee it's table? On the coffee table. I didn't want to uh, scuff up the floors. <laughs> this, is, this is the modern day Satanist. This is the way to do it. <laughs> All right. He's got his pentagram. He is uh, tuned into hell right now to frequency 666 hertz. Right. Going, <laughs> going hog wild. I am going to complete the last bit of the circuit. This is the last microphone that Mitch Hedberg touched before he died of an overdose. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this below our two cards here. We got the devil stacked on top of uh, death. And now I think it's time that we contact Mitch Hedberg. Will you uh, will you put your hands on the pentagram page and join me My hands in are on. asking yeah. Mitch Hedberg hold the phone. to appear? Hand. I'm sorry. Okay, you can only go one handed. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Uh, Mitch, we we know you're here. We know you're somewhere on cyberspace. Would you please pop up on Instagram Live to join at DP Seances at Six? It's DP Seances at Six, Mitch. You'd mean the world to us. Oh boy, look. I'm fucking up the pentagram. That's all right. <laughs> oh, no. I think that was my hand. I think that was the You fucked up the pentagram. Maybe, maybe it's better if you just keep your hands well, off I it. I think you're getting a little disturbance. I don't think that, you know, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think that was a disturbance. And look, we're getting deeper into the layers of hell. 
Oh my, oh my god. god. You've got the Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, it's it's oh. What's up, baby? <laughs> That's not Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> Someone we've conjured. It doesn't look like Mitch Hedberg. Who the fuck is No, baby, this is everyone's favorite Andrew Dice Cock. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! god. Dice cock, everybody, he's back from the dead. Oh. We've uh, we summoned a rogue oh, demon. Oh yeah, what's up, baby? How you doing? You two pussies don't look like you're strong enough to fuck my wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, you got me there. My dick hasn't worked in years, so I uh, I definitely couldn't fuck your wife, uh, Mr. Cock. I apologize. Wow, this is this is crazy. It's Andrew Dice Cock. We know he died what three four years ago in in the back of mccormick's and you've been in hell <laughs> since. What's hell like andrew dice cock do you still get to do comedy hell is exclusively comedy it is <laughs> <laughs> this is the first break from a set i've had in four years <laughs> I've been well, are you, are you trying out new material down there? Is, a, is it just like an open oh, mic every it is night? It's the same material that I had <laughs> four years ago. They don't get to write new bits. They don't let you try new bits. I've, I've had this cigar for four years. No, Surprisingly, nobody has a light in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you can't smoke the, smoke the cigar either, even though you're surrounded by fire. Yeah, I know. No, They took my cigarettes. <laughs> Gave me a cigar, and now I just gotta. Wow, this is crazy. Now, we went into the first layer of hell. Now, Paige, hey, you. Because we got Andrew Dice Cuck here, folks. Oh, I think we're in, we're in the lust layer. <laughs> I don't even know what layer Mitch Hedberg would be on. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's sloth. Probably sloth. I'm opening for Hedberg. <laughs> yeah, you yeah can, we're, we're looking for Hedberg. Andrew Dice Cock. Advance your comedy career in hell, Andrew Dice Cock. <laughs> well, before, well, before you guys reach out and get Hedberg again, can I do one of my classic? <laughs> oh, well, shit. Yeah, it's it. been a while since you've been able to do comedy for the world. Yeah. Uh, Go ahead and give us some of your classics. We'd love it was to a, hear them. It was a cla I'll do my classic nursery rhyme as Andrew <laughs> <laughs> Dice Cock. As we know, Andrew Dice Clay, my less talented brother, <laughs> did, did, did lots of nursery rhymes. So here's Andrew Dice Cock. Andrew Dice Cock, that is my name. Okay. Hickory Dickory Dice. My wife sucked a big fat cock. <laughs> One, she swallowed his cum, and guess who got to fucking watch, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my That's god, it's a shame you're dead. That would be taking the world over by storm. I died literally right when the cut craze started. <laughs> <laughs> now let me, Andrew Dice, oh, you said there's a lot of comedy. Uh, you're also into cocking. Is there any fun hog wild sex in hell that you get to? <laughs> no, it's all, it's just me <laughs> having sex. I don't get to watch other people fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they torture you by making you have sex. I just have high beautiful <laughs> men and women all the time. I don't ever get to watch someone else fuck my loved one to completion. <laughs> you're you are all action, no uh yeah. voyeur. Oh, no voyeurism. <laughs> Actually, can you two have sex, please? Can I just watch two people have sex? <laughs> Well, uh, we we are blood related, so that would be a, that would be kind of a no no. Although I think it would fit right in in hell. I know, yeah, it would. That would send it to us immediately to hell. <laughs> we would be joining you. Well, but, well, I guess I'll let you guys try to reach Mitch again. But thanks for letting me come back. That's Andrew Dice Cock, everybody. Uh, last question for you, Andrew Dice Cock. We know you're friends with uh, before your untimely passing. You were friends with. Uh, comedian Winston Hodges. Do you know anything about his album coming out? Can you tell us about that? Oh, oh yeah. It's actually the only thing that we stream in hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing we're allowed to play. Uh, but November 12th, he has a new one coming out. 
uh, at Cafe St. X in D.C. Come watch the show and get the album. It's called Already Aware. It's going to be very good. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Happy ha Happy Come Halloween. On. I love, I love y'all so much. <laughs> we love you too, baby. Happy Halloween from Andrew Dice Cox. Now, D. Andrew Dice Cox, uh, ladies and uh, germs. Yeah. Oh, uh, my God. D, that was, that was well, Paige, I, I really don't think you know what we're doing here. I know. That was all fun and games, but clearly the spell was a little messed up. That was not a uh, head burn like we promised. Uh, I know, I know. Let's, let's see if we can recalibrate some stuff. I'll, uh, I'll draw another card and see if it gets us back on place. Uh, we, we got the Tower of God here, and that should fuck some stuff up for us. Well, see if you can reload us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... What, I, what I think maybe we need to do is try to get someone who can get us to the right place. There's going to be so many departments in hell. It's a huge place. There's trillions upon trillions of people there. I feel like we need hey, to... Hey, I, I know we were... We need to... Can you, can you reach out to hell, like, uh, the helpline? The hell line. Uh, I could see if I could reach the uh, the hell line. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can uh, figure something out I here. Think we get someone on the hell line. I think if I remember correctly, <laughs> we get someone on the hell. If line. I just uh, if I just go over <laughs> the the hell yeah, line, and, uh, if I think I just, if I just transfer us right over to uh, right over to Hedberg, reanimate. I, I think we would. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Uh, hell, <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to do there. And well, 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 well here know, I've uh, I've turned my crucifix upside down. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk right into Jesus's uh, upside down ear and see if I can uh, reach reach uh, the hell line for us. Uh, hello. Yes, yeah, speaking. I uh, no, I have not died and gone to hell. Uh, no, I am very much alive. They're, they're, they're asking me if I've died and gone to hell, and uh, this is kind of awkward, because uh, I have not done either of those. Oh, my I, God. Look, you did come to hell. Oh, shit. It's oh. very white hair. I did go back to hell. hell. Oh, are you in hell now, my friend? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Etsy store is not going as good these days, and I needed to pick up some side work. There's great benefits here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Well, everybody will will start right off the bat. Go buy a very white Hanson shirt. He's, he has to work in hell, folks. He's literally working it out. No, oh, guys, God. I'm broke. Come on, help me out. <laughs> buy a where the fuck is paid shirt. I didn't. Open. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know it was hitting the demons hard too. Jesus yeah. Christ! You know, I mean, you and... see it right here. We've we've summoned him. There's fire right behind him, and we're in our apartments. He's yeah, in hell. I mean, it doesn't get much more legit than this. <laughs> 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 so tell us about the well Barry White Hanson how the hell are you you know what? where we're trying to get or, or have we explained it to you yeah yeah I uh, I heard the news from uh, upper management most people think it's, it's it's a guy named Lucifer totally wrong it's a giant woman named Lucy Fur oh. F-U-R <laughs> and oh. total furry total furry um <laughs> Lucy Fur. Yeah, and you have no idea how bad it feels to be yelled at at a, at a giant by a giant woman in a Dalmatian costume. It's crazy. That sounds horrible. <laughs> now, now I gotta ask: Is the confusion because uh, Lucifer has now tran uh, transitioned to Lucy Fur? Exactly. Uh, male female. Exactly. Okay. You know, we're we're progressive here in hell. Ah, I see. It's not all hate exactly. crap. Exactly. Because Satan <laughs> is, is <laughs> Satan came out to God, and God was like, oh, fucking, I fucking hate you. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Lucy Fur. Well, you know, we are very supportive of, uh, of the devil and Satan in any form she may take. So... That's beautiful, mm -hmm. but we are we are very supportive of the dark of the dark lady. I am glad words getting to you. We could we could chat for a bit, Barry White, but I'm glad words getting to you because we are trying to get to Hedberg eventually. Do you think that would be possible for you to transfer us to Hedberg? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He's uh, I think he's got a break. Let me see if I can. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I can get him. Okay, all right, that's beautiful. Right, oh hell yeah! Oh. 
We are we are born ready. We are ready for this mix. Yeah, ready. Did you have any questions for Barry White before we go over? Because I mean, working in hell's got to be crazy. I'd love to hear a little bit about that. You know, I, I gotta I gotta say, what is the worst part? Because it sounds like you're basically working like IT in hell. What is the worst part about running hell's IT? Uh, uh, basically, what Andrew Dice Cuck says. I mean, surprisingly, there's all this fire, and you can never find a light for your cigar. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't quite figured it out. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do when you try to smoke the cigar, it just gets longer. It doesn't get yeah, shorter. Yeah, it's like Pinocchio's nose. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it pulls nicotine out of your exactly. body. Exactly. Well, I gotta say, do you get people calling you often, trying to get uh, fucking in touch with uh, mid-level comedians? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'd be crazy. You'd be shocked to know how many people call for Carrot Top, and he's still alive. <laughs> and you have to explain that while he is on a path to hell, he is currently alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Who's your uh, Who's your favorite person to come down to hell? Ooh, uh, that's a good question. Have you admitted person. anybody? Uh, my favorite person, probably Genghis Khan. He loves to party. <laughs> he, he's really good at Connect Four. Don't try to play him in Connect Four. He will beat the shit out of you. Oh, my God. We're getting so many God damn. The devil's a woman. Does hell have a game night? Like, uh, there's just, like, a, a warlord and genocide game night for, like, uh, Pol Pot, Genghis Khan, Adolf Hitler, all the all the top names? <laughs> yeah, that's Thursday. Uh, it's after uh, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> really exciting. <laughs> and Taco Tuesday, they only have shells that break. <laughs> None of the shells break. <laughs> and let me tell you, if Hitler dress, dresses up as Charlie Chaplin one more year for Halloween... I'm gonna call him a hack. Come on, it's too easy. It sounds like there's an abundance of hacks in hell if there's comedy going on constantly. Exactly. Yeah, I mean Hitler was definitely a hack. He did the same bit six million times. Yeah, you know, write some new material, <laughs> get a new hour. <laughs> he tried to branch out with the pole axe and it just didn't work. It was the same bit, just recycled. Yeah, exactly. We've seen it. We've seen it, Hitler. <laughs> mm. Wow. Well, goddamn. Do you have any questions for Barry White, Page? I'm really fascinated about the, the mid-level bureaucracy of hell going on. I had no idea it was there was uh, this much red I know, tape. Yeah, the, the political system of hell is very, very, very interesting. I guess I would ask, uh, what's, are there any hard, wild stories from hell? In your job, just you were talking about the parties you go to. Has uh, anything happened in hell that's just, like, unbelievable? Let me tell you, mm. we played a meme game of Duck Duck Goose the other day. <laughs> it gets it gets insane down here. They take Duck Duck Goose very seriously. <laughs> wow, I never would have guessed. It's all it's, it sounds like it's all comedy and children's games down there. Yeah. Yeah. That's all you, you know. Can engage in I watched this. I watched this Squid Game show, and uh, all they were doing was just ripping off what we were doing down here. You know, <laughs> it's kind of bullshit. Wow, the Koreans figured it out. They they yeah. did a seance before any of us. Yeah, and knew it would make millions of dollars on Netflix. I, I gotta ask: Do you ever torment Andrew Dice Cuck by playing Cut Cut Goose instead of Duck Duck Goose, and he just has to sit there and cry because he can't participate? <laughs> He's just like, "When is my turn?" <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't be fools. Like he has to cut people. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's always playing. He's never out. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. Mm. Well, that's beautiful, Barry White. Uh, I'll let you get back to work because you know I know how it is. They, if they listen to the call, they don't want to hear us chatting. But if you can get us over to Hedberg, that'd be beautiful because we, we clearly had an oh, error very in our much spell true. somewhere. We would love that. We had an error in our spells. You know, I've been, I got all my information from TikTok, and clearly this is what it gets. So. Well, it's as simple as, you know, saying bull sweat instead of bull pus. You know what I mean? It's as simple as that. You take 600 milligrams of estrogen a day, you get a few crystals in a tarot deck, and you think you know how to run hell. But clearly it's a little more nuanced than that. You got us to the right person. You got us to hell. I, I, nothing but compliments for me. Oh, well, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Barry White. Uh, everyone buy a shirt from him. Let, let him quit hell, for Christ's sake. Yeah, come on. Yeah, help him out. Let, get him out of that hell gig. Work, I'm working 100 hours here. A week. It's insane. <laughs> I thought you'd be working 666 hours. <laughs> yeah. That's on busy season. Well, oh. <laughs> uh, busy season uh, right now, you know. Uh, that's why I, uh, it's very rare I get, I get a break, you know. I feel like I work nonstop. Um, I'm on my God. sixth Red Bull already. I'm November 1st. Everyone, it's time for the redemption of Barry White Hanson. Go to. Yeah. Go to his merch site and buy a where the fuck is Please. page shirt. Buy a where yeah. the fuck is page shirt. Please help me out. I'm still thirty grand in debt from Liam Neeson. It's insane. <laughs> <laughs> November first rolls around. He's gonna be a uh, shit out of luck looking for a new job. So come on, go go to that site and get a where the fuck is page. Yeah, come shirt. on, that's what we're saying. This is a this yeah. is a holiday special, which means we have to do a third of it as advertising. <laughs> That's exactly. you gotta cash in on the holiday. What about a sixth of it is advertising? Then it could be a sixth, six, six. <laughs> I like where your head is at, as always. All right, very wise. All right, maybe we should bring on the real comedian on the show. And thank you so much, Barry White. Holy shit! Let's get this transfer going, baby. You, Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg I, feel I, feel I feel the, the aura. I, 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 feel I, I can feel Hedberg in the room. I can feel him. I can feel that spirit moving. <laughs> I feel oh, oh, no! Wow! Wow, there he is. It's Mitch Hedberg reanimated. It's Mitch Hedberg in the spirit. Live on the internet for the first time in I don't know how long. I thought I was getting booked in limbo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pro tip. If you ever die with sunglasses on, take them off. They stay with you in the afterlife. Everything's dark. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so we have Mitch Hedberg on the show. Jesus Christ. The, the, the fucking transfer works. This is hey, I have to say, I used to be in hell. I still am, but I used to be too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah, my God. We were, we were talking to Andrew Dice Cuck. Uh, I can't imagine there's too, too much comedy in hell. You ever interact with Andrew Dice Cuck? He wants me to fuck his wife all the time. <laughs> But it's a lot of effort. I don't like I don't like being seen doing things. If I wanted him to like turn around, I was too nervous. <laughs> Close my eyes oh. the whole time. <laughs> Mitch, are you are you getting booked a lot in hell? Is, are there a lot of gigs going on? It sounds like there's no shortage of comedy. Yeah, Andrew and I sounded uh, How do so, you feel about comedy in hell? There's no, besides the open mic that's always going on, there's no shows besides bar and bot mitzvahs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how does that work? I thought no hell for Jews. Oh, no, they're wrong. <laughs> they're way wrong, dude. <laughs> You're just wrong about that. I have to say, no, I died at the wrong time because I had an album coming out in 2006 and it was all jokes about the Jews, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you, you certainly didn't juice wisely on that one. There. <laughs> Hang out with Hitler. He's a cool dude. He's too short. He's <laughs> chill. It, uh, it sounds like he's mellowed out now that he's not killing millions of people on a regular basis. Turns out the dude just had a passion for Duck Duck Goose. Keeps him calm. <laughs> yeah, he, he never found his. Now, Mitch, do you, do you participate in the Duck Duck Goose uh, every. Well, he didn't say how frequently it was, but are you a Duck Duck Gooser? Uh, I just prefer to play Goose. Ooh. Now, what is just Goose? <laughs> goose, the game's over. You win. <laughs> <Lots of players. laughs> it's just you being stationary. Yeah, my favorite activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we reached re sloth. This is the layer of hell. <laughs> yeah, I thought Do you I ever go to the sloth? Turns out they were booked. 
I'm in wrath. <laughs> you stuck you in wrath. Yeah, I'm kind of angry that about it. Downgrade? <laughs> what was that? Is that an upgrade or a downgrade, Mitch? The hell is hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, Mitch, uh, this is the first time you've streamed in years. You've been you've been dead for since the eighties, I think. Uh, <laughs> Two thousand five. Yeah. <laughs> address address the fans. What would you like to say to them? Tell them what hell's like. Uh, hell is pretty boring. Again, I really wanted to be in limbo. Limbo <laughs> felt more my style. Yeah. Now, do you know what it was exactly that landed you in hell? Heroin. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Turns was, uh, was heaven too ambitious, Mitch? If I did more cocaine, I could have made it to heaven. That's heaven's drug. <laughs> cocaine. <laughs> so what, uh, heroin is a hell drug? What? What's a limbo drug? Limbo drug? PCP. <laughs> Do they let you do anything? Actually, any, any, any of the acronym drugs gets you in a limbo. NDMA, LSD. DMT, yeah. They put you right there in the middle. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> so they don't let you do any of those drugs oh. in hell. You get, what What do you get? Just get Tylenol. <laughs> You can have an Advil, though. Yeah, and you can still get liver failure. <laughs> now, let me burn does it, does it really it torture? Because it's got to be a bummer to be on fire all the time, you know, getting ass raped every now and then. Do you get used to the torture? You learn, you, you learn to appreciate good torture. <laughs> Some people just don't do torture right. <laughs> There's a lot of hacks up there. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you get stuck with a new demon, and you're like, come on, buddy, you gotta get better at this. <laughs> well, what would you say is the worst torture you've received so far? Like, poorest quality. It was this guy who gave me a glass of water, but it was a little salty. And he said, drink it, and I did, and it's like, this water's a bit salty, and he's like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I, and I, were you I salty know. about that? Wait, what was that? Sorry, the connection to hell is not that good. I was very salty about that. Yes. I was very salty about that, and I told that joke to the demon, and he laughed. <laughs> and I didn't you can't laugh. laugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe you could do a creepy laugh, but you can't laugh at someone's joke while you're torturing them. That's no, it was a belly laugh. Oh, belly it was a very laugh. genuine laugh. This guy's so green. That demon oh, was belly Demons are really red, but this guy is green. <laughs> <laughs> now, Anderdice Cuck mentioned to us that he doesn't get to try any new material. Have you been able to work on material? Would you ever release something from beyond the grave? Uh, I mean, I've been trying to release my virulently anti-Semitic uh, material I was working on, but that wasn't, to be fair, that, that's not new material I wrote in hell. It was just material that I wrote right before I died. Yeah, yeah. Now, <laughs> is there any way? No, it was not recorded. Oh my god, it was not recorded. Unbelievable. Well, I think uh, every time I just like video special, that would constitute as the devil's work. <laughs> the devil gets this, like a hundred percent of all intellectual property released from hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Metallica was so angry about piracy. Is they're like, we're getting no money from our music. Turns out it's just the devil. <laughs> yeah. That's the backwards masking. <laughs> yeah. You guys thought you'd me on. Tape. I can imagine it's frustrating. I, I, I can I, imagine it's frustrating if you're trying to play the devil music. Because uh, you don't get to keep any of that shit. <laughs> you don't, not one bit. I know, but we did learn that uh, the devil is a trans woman, so support support artists, support trans artists. <laughs> her, her collecting all that money is beautiful. It's not corrupt. It's beautiful. Yeah. I, I, was, I was saying this before I died, but trans women are women. It's a classic Mitch Hedberg line. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's one of my favorite Mitch Hedberg jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that killed in 96. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I did that just for laughs, it was just laughs. Yeah. I imagine in 1986, uh, nobody was taking it seriously, so it was effectively a massive joke. <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny? Some people who aren't dead still wind up in hell. Oh, really? Now that... <laughs> Oh, shit. How does that happen? That's news to us. There's just a version of certain people walking around in hell, and they're like, did you know you died? And they're like, no. What the fuck? <laughs> What's the deal? I was hanging out with Obama the other day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're saying Obama <laughs> took, a, took a path through hell. Yeah, and Mitt Romney. <laughs> <laughs> what about the bushes? Are the bushes there? No. Wow. They're again a big cocaine family. They're on their way up. <laughs> <laughs> who who just is the biggest surprise that you've seen of living people walking around hell? Um Is John Candy alive? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I thought he could have been alive. I'm using my hell computer. He's dead. Okay, I guess that's not a surprise that it's a it's a hell of a piece. I got one. Bobby Moynihan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, let, let me ask you more how this works. What's what's the deal with how do they walk through hell? Are there doors to hell throughout, thrown throughout the world? No, nah, this is broken escalators. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's not a highway to hell. It's a broken escalator. Yeah. Where are the entry points? Can you just find them like fucking subway stops? Or is it just like a, like a portal situation where you gotta figure out the puzzle? They're all in Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is breaking news, folks. Portals to hell. And we're learning it from Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> True. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> mm. So Bobby Moynihan, that's the answer? I would say that's a pretty surprising one, yes. Bobby Moynihan <laughs> is going to hell whenever he dies. <laughs> oh, so it also seals you in for when you die. If you if you cross through a portal at some point, you're going to hell for sure. No, like, if I don't see if I don't see there are hell copies, if you just go to the hell open mic, which again is always going on, you can find reserved seats for people. <laughs> <laughs> they make you open a year or two, but <laughs> they've got a reservation. Also, another thing, the open mic in hell, they charge for entry. <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> That's that is devilish charging for entry at an open mic. And I heard it's a bringer. You got to bring six point six six guests. <laughs> six and then a two thirds. It's true. Because <laughs> you can get like half an L and still walk around. A, a lot of a lot of people don't realize that. Hey, it, you know an awful lot about hell. Have you been there personally? I, I, Have you been to Tucson at any point in your life? I think it's well known that I I am on a pathway to hell. I I. I Open the show saying I've been. I mean, you you've been a servant of the Dark Lord, but we just learned the Dark Lord's a dark lady, so yeah, I, uh, I'm questioning now how I much mean, information you've been getting. I don't mean to contradict our <laughs> previous guests, but Satan is most definitely gender fluid. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. Last time I saw Satan, they were a definite they them. Okay. So the name <laughs> <laughs> Has it been dropped? I think it's just Lou. <laughs> <laughs> just Lou now. The, the most made up name uh, in currently in circulation. <laughs> no, still a furry. Still a furry? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Lou is walking around with a little. It's not a forked tail. It's a. It's a. <laughs> It's sad. Lou puts on that fursuit, but it burns off immediately every time. <laughs> it's like, that's all the effort, bud. 
It'd be so much easier if they were just a protege. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know what that is somehow. Maybe it's the time I've spit in hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mitch, uh, are there a lot of furries in hell? Oh. Is Lou the only one? <laughs> That's actually, there's, a, there's an entire circle of hell for furries. Oh my god, you're, tell, you're telling us that they're number, now the end, number 10? And they've dedicated it to furries. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> do they have a name for it? Like, uh, do they name it after another sin? Is there a, is there a new sin, a new vice? No, I just, just call, it, it's it is called the rain forest. <laughs> 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 and what is torture for a furry? How do they, how do they torture a furry? You point out their flesh. It burns immediately. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ain't no burn oh happen. It all burns off. <laughs> now the rain first. Still a cafe? Oh no! There's no cafes in hell. <laughs> too relaxing. Yeah, they don't. All we have is cafeterias. Yeah. As far as I'm, as as I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, it's shit. It's low sodium shit. <laughs> you don't even get nice <laughs> sodium in your shit. Family style dining. Oh yes, every we're a family down here in hell. <laughs> yeah, in hell it's family, <laughs> but the family is the aristocrats. <laughs> they they make you have a big orgy with your family every night for dinner. <laughs> how much of your time, Mitch? Uh, if you are all a family and it is the aristocrats, how much of your time in hell is spent walking into talent agencies? <laughs> I would imagine in hell all the time, man. It's all lawyers. I try to walk anywhere, I end up in a talent agency. I don't even have talents. <laughs> wow. Oh I, my god. This is in talent agencies because I think they're the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> or as they would say down there, the litter box. That's right. In, in the furry section. <laughs> also, I just realized oh, no. since I'm being... Uh, Broadcast to the living realm. I want to shout out my wife, who I believe is still alive. Oh, wow. <laughs> from down the grave, a message from Mitch Hedberg to the wife. Let's hear it. Yeah, hold up. I have to look up her name real fast. <laughs> it's been a long time. I forgot. It's just been so long. 16 years is a long time. All right. I'm looking up my own name, which I have to say I do daily. <laughs> they still let you do <laughs> yourself now? Uh, spouse, Suplin Shawcroft, <laughs> of whom I married in 1999. <laughs> there is not a seat reserved for you in the hell open mic. I'm sorry. That's got me but she won't get to see her beloved again. But that means she's not going to hell. I just hope she doesn't end up in limbo. I'll be jealous. <laughs> Now, now, as long as she stays away from those acronym drugs. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. As long as she stays away from those acronym drugs. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, does it say anywhere there, uh, Mitch, that she got remarried or not? Uh, hold up. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I have to Google that yet again. Sorry. Hell, Google that again. I would love I would love to. <laughs> yeah, they only, let you use, they only let you use Bing and Hell. Yeah, there's no Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hell, Google is Bing. They just make it look like Google. <laughs> but it's all the Bing results, baby. I gotta say, gotta say, it's pretty lucky that such a hot spot ha has a hot spot for you to access. Yes, it looks like she is unmarried. <laughs> it's six, six, six. Good. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay. So you won't get to see her again. Her. She's she's remained true to you. <laughs> <laughs> As long as he doesn't dip into that uh, Lord and Savior cocaine. Yeah. God forbid. Coke is definitely, that's, that's a hell drug. That's the devil's dandruff, baby. <laughs> Coke is 100% a hell drug. Well, what about angel dust? It's fallen. I feel like that wouldn't be a hell drug. 
<laughs> Angel dust yes. gets you nowhere. It obliterates your soul. <laughs> now let me ask you this. Uh, it's just. Bitch. It seems like uh, forever is a long time. Is there any way you could get out of hell at some point? Not come back to life, of course, but get out of hell. Oh, well, I I've been trying to find an escape, but as I said, I keep ended up in talent agencies. <laughs> Maybe if I get booked. <laughs> Every other girl you have talent agency. <laughs> door is a damn talent agency, man. And they all book you on the same open mic. <laughs> the mic that you have to pay for. Yeah, and bring six point six six people. Yeah. It's lucky for me, because I know uh, two-thirds of a person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Mitch, I got to say thank you for uh, appearing on the show. Um, and it's oh always going to be booked. So yeah, it's, it, it is always <laughs> going to be booked. You've now worked with Andrew Dice Cuck. Very exciting. <laughs> um, have, you, have you heard of Barry White Hanson? Mid-level mid demon. <laughs> and yeah, he course. sends me musical phenomenon. He sends me funny gifts all the time, man. <laughs> um, Very unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there was such a strict office culture in, uh, in the realm of darkness. <laughs> he always sends me messages like, have you seen this? And it's a cat getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a hell of a few. This is Barry White Anson versus Mitch Hedberg. Ah. I could get behind that. This is almost as bad as Nick and Brandon Bestwick. <laughs> hey, look, I've been learning a few things since being sent to Wrath. That's right. Yeah, you're ready to fight now. This is some spiritual warfare, baby. I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on us, Mitch. What's, what are some of the takeaways you've gotten from uh, the Realm of Wrath? Is I learned how to use my middle finger. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not just for picking boogers in the back of your nose. <laughs> it's for telling people, I don't like you. Like you're waving at them. <laughs> That's right. You got two horns as well. Oh. A little bit too much for me. <laughs> I only know about five things my fingers can do, and I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you want to say to the uh, to the human realm before you uh, return back to rap? All I want to say is to all the Jews, look out. <laughs> <laughs> Strong words from Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> Thankfully, he is stuck in hell. Mitch Hedberg came back to give one message and one message only. <laughs> it's 45 minutes of anti-Semitic stand-up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, that's great. Hell is full of red. <laughs> Hell's full of red tape and red pills. Apparently, <laughs> they make you take red pills every morning. <laughs> Everyone becomes. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> the library is filled tip to toe with Ann Rand. Red blooded that you turn red. That's why demons are red. <laughs> they all can Is vote. the Unibomber manifesto there? <laughs> Unibomber's in heaven. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. How do you get the bat? <laughs> what what landed him in heaven? I don't know. All I know is I've never seen him at the open mic. I write jokes just for him. <laughs> so the open mic is everyone in hell. Everyone goes. <laughs> I know. It's mandatory attendance. It's like a fucking... <laughs> it's confusing, man. It's mandatory attendance, and it's a bringer somehow. <laughs> yeah, they gotta work it out. A shitty routine of figure out who you want to text. <laughs> <laughs> and you just walk off stage into a talent agency, apparently. <laughs> yeah. There's no green room. You go right into a talent agency. And then you start doing despicable things. <laughs> and it's always annoying, too, because sometimes you accidentally walk into the talent agency with a juggler, and you just got to watch him do his thing, man. 
<laughs> I should have mentioned this earlier. In, inside of the circle of hell for furries, there's the, the deepest one, and it's for jugglers. <laughs> one for jugglers. Now, there's, oh, a, there's one for jugglers. There's a 12th layer there... of hell. There's a 12th oh, layer of hell. God, 12? Yeah, and it's cream cheese. <laughs> There's any overlap in the categories. If you try putting a chip in hell, it'd break off. It's too chunky. There's two layers one of bean, one of nacho cheese. Yeah, two of the layers of cream cheese, man. It's redundant. (laughs) Why don't they reduce it to six? Yeah, two cheese layers is a lot, man. (laughs) Did they have to rebrand gluttony since there are so many food related layers of hell? Gluttony. Maybe that's what it is. Gluttony is seven layers of dip. (laughs) Seven cheese. Gluttony is the original (laughs) sin, man. And everything is gluttony. (laughs) Wrath is anger gluttony. Sloth (laughs) is gluttony. Sleepy. Oh my goodness. Uh, more philosophical in hell, Mitch. I love it. Yeah, I've been Lust reading a lot of Ayn Rand. Liberated your mind. <laughs> I was wondering why Alice Shrug turned out he had an itchy back. <laughs> yes, dude. Red pilled. <laughs> Red pilled Mitch Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Atlas has been hanging out in sloth a little bit. All that shrugging he's been doing. He's just confused. <laughs> he's like, who is John Galt? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think he's just confused. And John Galt ever going up at the open mic? Oh. Yeah, there's seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys change their name to John Galt after. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> my mission is to go through. My mission is to go through copies of Atlas Shrugged and add it. Who is John Galt? Yeah. So much about hell here. This is insane. I, this might. This is kind of the definitive guide to hell by Mitch Hedberg. Yeah, Indeed. my book I'm working on. Probably <laughs> 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 working on a novel. Wow. I'm currently this working. Is... I'm currently writing about cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought it would have been about a specific group of people. <laughs> Don't worry. One that made your albums dedicated. You can't talk about cream cheese and omit the Jews. Believe me. <laughs> 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 or as they like to call it, schmear. <laughs> it's not Korean cheese. I tell you what. <laughs> Kareem Kareem cheese, cheese, yeah. Yeah, no, I love Kareem cheese. He headlines the open mic every night. (laughs) He's keeping it lawful. He was a really good comic from Atlanta who got hit by a bus. (laughs) Kareem cheese. In hell, he finally omitted the ha ha from his stage name. (laughs) Originally, he put the ha 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 cheese. Kareem ha ha cheese. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll tell you, Lou, he, Lou, they love catchphrase comics. I'll tell you that. Even if you were a good person, <laughs> they'll strike a deal to get you down to hell. Yeah, they, they collect the t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so That's why wait, wait, Andrew wait, Dice Tuck's down here. Too many catchphrases. <laughs> It, it also sounds like uh, they control the media of hell, and possibly even the weather. Yeah, they control the weather. Well, I ran. Got a few <laughs> That's what it's all about. Sounds like a seize the Kareem's a production because he's telling all the jokes down there. Wait, have you been to the open mic? That's Kareem's closer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I may have dipped my foot into Tucson every now and then. <laughs> if you want to avoid hell, avoid heroin, 
and avoid Tucson. <laughs> <laughs> that's, and that's that's the big oh, problem, Mitch Edberg. <laughs> Who will have the definitive guy to hell coming out soon? <laughs> On Amazon only. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Amazon exclusive. <laughs> what else would it would the devil use other than Amazon? Mm, that's a that's a good point. That's right. Nothing. <laughs> hell, there's there's no workers' rights in hell, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. The, no break. the only strikes in hell are three strikes and you're out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you get a job, they make you become a child because everything has to be produced via child labor. Everything in hell is by unborn child labor. That's where they go. That's why. That's why liberals don't like like abortions. They go to today. It's a it's a factory fetus right there. Pressing your license to the fetus factory. Hey! Yeah, Rob Deerdick's fetus factory. I love that <laughs> show. <laughs> oh my god. Well yeah, I think I think that's beautiful, Mitch. Did did you have any parting words or anything to plug before we send you back to hell? D's gonna close the spell out, I think. Uh, the only thing I like to plug is I'm doing a show at Zalock Paradise tonight at 9. <laughs> wow, they're letting you <laughs> the most oh, no. city out there, Philadelphia. <laughs> they're letting you out. You know, we've, we've got a few of the TikTok up. witches. We've got a few of the TikTok witches who are holding a pentagram open in an Ethiopian restaurant <laughs> a couple blocks from my house. <laughs> so Mitch Hedberg will also be appearing there. <laughs> Well, that is beautiful. Everyone go to the show tonight if you're in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Or if you're in hell, you could probably catch Mitch at the open mic later later this evening. But happy Halloween from DP, everybody, and from Mitch Hedberg. I hope it's evil, and I hope you stay hog wild. Stay hog wild, everybody. Do that DP and get from limbo to hell. That's right. And thanks for joining us, joining us for a hell of a good time. <laughs> <laughs>